Yes, please. Well, welcome back to another Diner Days video. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to another Diner Days video. And today, as you can see, this is a bonnet. Yes, it's a bonnet. But we've been repeatedly asked, how easy is it to remove the liquid wraps that we do in? So what we're going to show you is the process of applying and removing. So let's get the team. Let's get cracking. Another question in this video we're going to answer is once it's been liquid wrapped, can you polish it? Now, obviously, for this particular example video, we're not filling any stoke chips or anything. So let's, the actual finish is the, the point the, here. The process. The process. Then, uh, we could see how well it covers over them next row. Yeah. Stoke chip one, dead. Stoke chip two. Right, so this is the base coat, correct? Yeah, let's, let's start So, base coat, first coat. How many more coats of that will you put on there? I'll have another one. That's a bit lighter than what you, you, you always start with a light one. Yeah. So let it seal it in, let that go off, then you can be a bit heavier on your second coat. Got you, so. We're gonna build up through the coats and change the colors. And yep. you see, uh, we'll, we'll end up with six to eight coats, and then that helps it become. Okay. Heavier. Well, we're back. Now, it, as you can see, this is grey. So how many coats has this had so far? That's had two coats of grey. Yeah. 20 minutes flash off in between. Right. So now that's got, that's got two coats of a spray wrap on. And how many coats do you normally apply? So in total? Six to eight coats. Right. And we're, we're gonna be precise. We're gonna do everything yep. as, as you should do. So now we're gonna go over the grey with the silver. And this is, well, it's, it's changing the color to silver, but it's building up the layers. Yeah, okay. So, um, we're going to do two coats for 20 minutes in between, but obviously we'll see the Okay, so that'll have another coat of that and we'll join you for another colour in a moment. For the next, for the next one. The next okay, one. so, so far in the process, we are four coats in. Four coats in, two coats of grey, two coats of silver. Yep. We're going to apply a coat of purple on it just to make it purple. It doesn't matter what the colour is. No, for, so not for the we're purposes. Just gonna, we're just going to make it purple so it's a colour and then we're going to put some um, like purple flake over the top. Oh, okay. In another coat, just make it six coats and then we're going to two coats of clear because it's going to have the... Full eight coats. Full eight coats. Okay, yes. all right. Six to eight coats. Well, hit it with a bit of that. Well, hit it. You see the writing still there. You still see Johnny's. Has that stickers on? Yeah, has that stickers on. Yeah, I noticed though at this stage that we can still see the defects because. Yeah, that's right. You... Unless you were doing doing something with those and fixing those, they would still be there. As it could out some of the smaller stone chips. Though, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stone chips, so. Um, Bigger ones, no, but the smaller ones, sure. you know, they do.
I like you like that. Okie dokie. So this will have another coat and then we're going for a clear coat. Yeah, we're just going to do one coat of that. Yeah. Oh. Purple. Then I'm going to put some purple in it. In some clear wrap. And just put that over the top so it's just got a bit of yeah. something to look at. Yeah, yeah. We don't want it to be boring, do we? We want it to look. Yeah, okay. And then uh, two coats there. So that's coat number five up to now. Okay. So we'll come back in a minute for coat number six. Okay. Coat number six. This is some chameleon purple in some spray wrap. Right. I don't know what that's going to do to it. We'll but, find out. Yeah. We've just got to build the layers up, you see. Yeah, it's layer number six, and then that, that's enough for the spray wrap on, and then we'll go on with, with their clear cover. Yeah. This is the ultra high solid top coat, as you can see. One part clear coat, two parts clear coat, sorry, to one part hard coat. So two to one. Fantastic. Mix them together, spray it up. Let's do it. And there it is. It's in the gun. It's in the gun. Have it. Like magic. The bonnet 
the actual process of spray wrapping the bonnet is completed. And just before we start this section of the video, which is basically flatting and polish polishing it, I just wanted to show and highlight again that if there are defects, yeah. the, the spray wrap isn't going to do anything about them. And if we are to undertake something like a car that's being spray wrapped, these things would be an additional cost to repair prior to the actual wrap going on so that you get obviously a nice finish but you can see there's still some stone chips in it that you can see and there is a, a little dent there and, yeah. and the wrap itself won't help that but that would be vastly improved though wouldn't it on, on the absolutely video, uh, absolutely red it is actually a fantastic color as well keith yeah yeah we just we just chucked a load of bits together didn't we yeah just to make so explain what we're doing keith so we're gonna have a flat and a polish show because everyone oh, we can flat and polish it we can do this but yeah we want to show people. Okay. So this is a bit of fifteen hundred. We're gonna have a we're gonna flatten an area. Should, I think we we're gonna yeah, I think we're gonna like do this sort of this half of the bonnet. Yeah. And we'll see how we get on. Yeah. So I'm gonna flat it with fifteen hundred. Pretty much like that look. And and for those of people that don't know, fifteen hundred is the grade of oh, yeah, coarseness. Yeah. Fifteen hundred. Quite there's, dry. There's like fifteen hundred grits per area. Whatever that area is. Like an inch, I always believe it was like an inch square, so there's 1500 grits. And obviously, if you've got an 80 grit, there's 80 grits in the big. Got you. So, it's sort of. Obviously, that's like flattened the top off. There's actually not many many bits of dirt in it, so we'll probably just, we'll probably just flat this area and just show you uh, how you go about that. I mean, obviously, you'd probably, you'd probably block it and do all sorts, but. We're just doing it. Just we're running an experiment. Yeah, we're just doing it to show you. We're going to polish this, and then we're and then we're going to uh, we're going to grab a bit and peel it as well, aren't we? Yeah. Because everyone's saying, "Can you peel it?" Yes, you can peel it. Yeah. So we're going to show people. Which is a bit of a shame because it's a, we've done a, a lovely colour as well. Yeah, we? But nobody's got this colour coat, so oh, it would no. look very strange. No, no, that's right. This, this, is, and we've just chucked a load of stuff together as well. So this is this is an actual. This is the full process though, this is eight layers of what we yeah, do. Yeah, that's right, that's right. We've, just, we've done it all, haven't we? We've done everything that we should. So that's took that back almost to a... Yeah, you'll see that, you'll see that matted off. Matted off, yeah, you can see that. We can clearly see that in the video. Yeah. And, uh... Then we'll get, we'll get three thousand... So you can see it's matted off. Yeah, you'll we'll see this. And then we're gonna 3,000 tries that pad it. Ooh. That just gets rid of the 1,500 marks and brings it to up to a 3,000. So it, it's making it finer. Okay. I've just gotta turn the compressor on so this might. Oh, it might be a bit noisy. It's a big old compressor. Oh, oh power. Cute music. Yeah. Well, I just moved the 1500 marks up to 3000 and then that makes it easier to polish. You can see after they were flatted that bit, we've not flatted that bit. Correct. That's shiny. 
Not just so shiny. Yeah. Okay. So, what are we using here? This is a G360 compound. Oh, very nice. It's one one that I favour. There's plenty. There's loads of them. Brand. Yeah, you're not sponsored by them. No, you might you might favour somebody else. We have got other stuff. We've got a bit. You might like raw. Raw. I like it raw. Yeah. Okay. Just to cut in compound. Well, this is not an, this is not an educational video on how to polish. So don't. Yeah, don't let's like, not criticise this. <laughs> This is just to show it good polish. Just spread it around, wave it about. Well, it should be out there, that's getting shiny underneath, yep. the, underneath the polish. Do you want to give that section a wipe off now? Yeah. Give it one more, one more pass. You'd work through the grains and polish yeah. it and use smoother and smoother polish, but we're just we're just going to show it up. Obviously that's been flatted. Polish that area a lot. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. So there we go. That's flattened and, and polished. So that's, that actually looks glorious. And obviously I've been quite hard on that as well. Yeah. So, you know, it's not, it's not ripped it. That's got a good bit of temperature into it. It's not affected it. Look, it's not, you know, it's not ripped it off. Yeah, yeah, well we could definitely see. So yeah. yeah, so that was uh, a... If you look from that side to that side, you probably see a, a difference. Not really. <laughs> But yeah, but there we go. So it's basically back to as it was yeah. after it had its uh, That's flat and flat and polished. polished. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so next up, I think we're going to peel. Yeah, well, I'll polish that bit up there. We'll do, we'll do that off camera. It's good to get too do much. we really need to? It's coming no, I suppose we don't even need We'll to leave it. We've run the experiment. Yeah, People can clearly see that. That's, that's, we've not flattered that bit. That bit's been flattered a lot. And that's been, we've flattered and polished that. And that looks dreamy, don't it? It does look dreamy. Yeah, okay. Oh, let's start ripping stuff off. It's time to peel. And uh, Keith's using a microfiber cloth. Yeah. And you rub, rub through the edge. You'll rub through the edge. Yeah. To sort of get it, get it going. Oh, you can see. Look, there you go. Okay. You start from a. Yeah, cool. Start from an edge. Can't argue that's not going, can you? Nope. Um, and there she comes. There you go. I think everyone wants to get in on that action, don't they? Yeah, I want to. I haven't gone that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it peels off, and it's easy as that. Oh, that's satisfying. Is it? I guess it goes. Oh. Oh yeah. Basically, once you've got once you've got the edge going, I mean, if you did it like an edge, oh, you can do that. You have to just peel it off. No residue, look. No. It's exactly as it was before we started. Purple, yeah, it's a shame because I like yeah. the purple. It's like a rocket lolly. Yeah, it looked really good before. <laughs> yeah. Jeddo's <laughs> in on the action. It's peeled a few bodies before. I'll so tell just you. to show you we're not doing anything. Uh, yeah, there we go. There you go. It can't be done. I'm assuming it looks. You can get the whole. Well, if you look at the thickness of it, it is what you would imagine a piece of vinyl to be. I'm assuming you can get the whole lot. You can get the whole lot to go. Look. If you get the whole lot to go, look, you can. Look. Look. Well, there we go, guys. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Uh, if you're interested in a liquid wrap, then give us a shout. 
I will certainly do you a quote. But until the next time, see you later. <laughs>